Here we are at the opening hole at Chambers Bay. In Guild, this hole will rotate between being a par five and a par four throughout the tournament. Uh, you mentioned earlier to me at the clubhouse that this will be the first time ever that this happens. It's true. I mean, there'll be a lot of firsts here at Chambers Bay, but the fact that on any given day, Mike Davis is going to have the flexibility to use this hole as a par five and then 18 would be a par four or vice versa. 18 mm -hmm. would play as a five and this would play as a four. So a joint par nine, if you will, between the two holes. Mm -hmm. And so from a setup standpoint, this hole plays very differently. Par five way back there. The landing area itself will actually, for the par five, come into a point where you'll hit into the upslope and you'll be blind with your second shot. So you're gonna have to pick a line going into that green and feel confident about it. Whereas with the par four, you're gonna land it up on top of the ridge and the longer hitters actually could probably carry the ridge that creates the blindness for the par five and get to a point where they're hitting a much shorter iron into the hole. And then up at the green, a lot of options and a lot of playability. From the standpoint of as a par five, there's a slot up to the front right where they'll be able to land a ball. It will feed and release onto the green. But anything missing to the left, it's a long way down to that lower area. And the recoveries from down there, I think, will be really a significant challenge. So a great way to start the round of golf, you know, from the standpoint when the players show up, they're not going to be sure which it is. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to get their strategy and their mindset right off the bat, which I think is fantastic from that setup. And 18 holes with that L.A. Dodgers hat as a New York Mets fan, I'm not so sure how this is going to go. <laughs> we're friends. We're old friends. It's okay. It's okay. Come on.